We are under the bright lights tonight as MLB Network welcomes you to this presentation of Major League Baseball. It's game four of the National League Championship Series between the L.A. Dodgers and the Cincinnati Reds. So that'll bring in Mookie Betts, and we are set for baseball here this evening. Off tonight for the Dodgers, the right fielder. Mookie. Infield in the overshift yeah. here. Now the pitch, up and away to start the inning. It's one and zero. One and one to the Dodgers' leadoff man. And we could be in for a cold one tonight. 52 degrees at game time, but should see the 40s before we're through. And it's fouled away. The one two. Strike three on a pitch in the dirt. Casale is after it. And he makes the throw to first. Betts is retired and there's one away. Got it, got it. Digging in three. Max Muncy. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Muncy is a prolific power hitter and you probably didn't need me to tell you that doesn't matter what kind of pitching he faces there's a lot of pop in that bat one and one to the Dodgers first baseman a one one there's a fastball taken high for a ball two and two well they've really had an answer for keeping him in check in this series. He's offered very little resistance with the bat in his hand so far. Liner into right center. That's a base hit. That is third. The better field of the 35. So here's Cody Bellinger as he takes a called strike on the black. It's 0 1. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. In the air out to center field. Braun has a read on it. And that's the second out of the inning. Next up for Los Angeles, Justin Turner. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Has a look, now the pitch. There's a fastball right down Broadway taken for a strike. And he falls behind 0 and 2. Muncie, the runner at first with two gone. Now a throw over and a dive, but he's back in. Here it comes on nothing and two. Line, but speared on a hop. And he'll go the short way to retire the side. Riding into the box, Tim Anderson. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Now the pitch. Yanked on the ground down the line. And a reach to his backhand, but he can't come up with it, and the leadoff man's aboard. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. That'll bring in Philip Irvin. As he'll take a look at a high strike here on the outside corner. It's 0 and 1. Nope. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Peterson has a read on it, looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. And the runner, not tagging, will retreat to second base. Nick Castellanos now. First appearance for him here with the leadoff man still at second and one gone now. Weak grounder down the line at third. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. One out and a runner on second base. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. That's a well-placed fastball right there, just off the outside. If you can get guys to expand the strike zone and go after that pitch, you're going to have a lot of success. No luck that time, though. 
Now at the plate, that Eugenio Suarez. First That's opportunity big for big him big here with the leadoff big man big still big standing at second. Two oh, gone bro. now. Kershaw comes set. Here's the pitch. There's a good breaking ball as it gets the bottom of the zone. 0 oh 2, the count to Suarez. These are the moments right here. You got a good pitcher on the mound. You don't know if these opportunities are going to present themselves throughout the course of the game. You have to capitalize in this situation. In the dirt here, and he'll rein it in as the count moves to one and two. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Lays off two and two now. Fouled off. Two and two. Here it is. And this one's in the dirt, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Ready with the payoff pitch. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with two out. Coming to the plate now, Mike Mustakis. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. No balls in one strike. Ready with the 0-1. Chopper to short. On to first, and the Reds rally comes up short here as that ends the inning. Here's Jock Peterson now. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Pretty unusual that you see a 5 0 hitter take two strikes in a row. Typically, those are some of the most aggressive batters in the lineup. And he takes strike three cold on the fastball. One gone. At the plate, Corey Seager, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. He pulls this one high and deep to right center field. And it's gone. Ah, oh man, that swing right there, Dan. That had to feel good. You're facing an elite starter. You don't know if you're even going to get wood on the baseball today. You know, that'll rally a little bit. This guy's been throwing the ball great. One of the top pitchers in the game. He's not used to guys barely him up and hitting him in the seats. Ball one. And it's a called strike to even the count at one. Hit softly down the line at first. The one two. And he chased it in the dirt. Makes the throw to first. Two down. Now in the box, Michael Bush. Michael. And the pitch. Bush. Dodgers have the early 1-0 advantage as we play the second. Lifted the other way to left center. Castellanos is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Leading off the inning, Ryan Braun. And they'll need him to get something going here. And here's a cold strike to the 36-year-old veteran. It's nothing in one. Pitching a little bit backwards in this situation. I'd expect a hitter to be sitting off speed. The 1-1 home. That softly hit to right. Will that get down? Bush ranging into the outfield. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the Good inning. Kirk. At the plate, Kirk to Sally. And he fouls this one off. And this one's downstairs. It's a ball and a strike. Man, that's one of those. How could you not swing at that one? A good take there on that pitch. Oh, he ties him up with a fastball inside, one and two. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. The one two. Misses for the second ball.
fouled away. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. Hit out towards second. Throw on to first will take care of him, and Kershaw is in control now. Two away. So bases are empty here with two gone, and now Derek Dietrich strides into the batter's box. Lays off one and zero. Oh. Wouldn't mind the pitcher expanding his zone a little bit more and using his aggressiveness against him. That evens it up one and one. Kershaw into the windup and delivers. Swing and a miss on the fastball and it's one and two. In the dirt but swung on and missed. The throw to first is in time and the inning is over. Third set to get underway. So here now is the pitcher, Clayton Kershaw. First pitch coming. Here it is. Fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. And he falls behind now, two and zero. Oh. And this guy can hit a little bit too. So you just can't lay one in there, two and zero. Oh. Too high, and it's three and zero. Oh. Just a little bit off to start the third now. That's three straight balls. And that misses as well. It's ball four, and it's a four pitch walk to the pitcher leading off the inning. Wow. First pitch of the at bat. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. Lazy fly ball out to center field. Anderson ranging into the outfield. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. Into the box, Max now Muncy. The first baseman, Max Muncy. From the stretch. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. Fastball and he's quickly in the hole 0 and 2. Might have to change your game plan in the box right here. If he's going to pound away, might have to work the opposite field. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And this will wind up being nothing more than a long foul ball and it'll hold the count at 0 and 2. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Grounded to the right. And that's by him into right field for a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Cody Bellinger at the plate now as the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. That's not an easy pitch to do anything with, right? 96 miles an hour in on the hands. You almost have to be looking for that pitch to be able to do anything with that. Pulled toward right center field. Urban is over to his right as he puts this one away. Two down. And next will be the Dodgers cleanup hitter, Justin Turner. Two on, two out for him here in the third. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Two men are on with two men out. Line drive to center field. That's in there. Base hit. And the run will score from second to make this a 2 nothing ball game. So next to bat will be the left-handed hitting John Peterson. As it's on the ground toward the hole. He lays out, but he can't make the play, and it's through into right. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. Next at the plate will be Corey Seager. They shall take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. Perhaps he can drive another one out of the park just like he did back in the second. 
And oh, he definitely broke the plane there as he went after the pitch inside, and it's strike two. And now time granted here as he'll step out to rethink things down 0 and 2. Lifted the other way down the left field line. Left fielder giving chase. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Leading off the inning, Anthony DiSclafani, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Hey, we're still in the early stage in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. In there, and it's even at one. And this one's up around the eyes, two and one. You certainly know he's not trying to work around the pitcher. And sometimes the hardest thing to do is to throw a strike to a guy that you know won't swing the bat. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Fastball called, strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. And the next to bat will be Tim Anderson. Second shot now. He doubled to start out the home first. Not an easy thing to do when you're in a leadoff spot, but that was a good piece of hitting in his first at bat. An opposite field base hit, which leads me to believe that this guy's going to cover both sides of the plate. Digging in now, Philip Irvin. He flew out in his last at bat. There's a strike with the breaking ball. Two out, nobody on. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. High in the air down the right field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. Two out lightning definitely applies to this offense. If this two hole hitter can get on, they could start something serious. Good job going down and hanging with it that time. The next one two pitch. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. Now at the plate, Will Smith. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. One of the keys to securing a win. They want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. One and oh, the count. And now pitch on the way. And 2 and 0 as this one's taken low. You can see this guy's more focused at the plate right now. In that first AB, he went down on strikes. Two balls and a strike. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. Into the upper deck and gone. With the count standing at two and one, he was sitting on anything that was belt high from the middle of the plate in, and that's exactly what he got. And that's what you call punishing a mistake. Now at the plate, Michael Bush. Michael as the first pitch misses high and inside for ball one. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul. So a missed opportunity there. Well, it's been a rough one so far. Four runs that's through three good. innings. It's about time to get that pitch count down or he won't be out here very long. The 2-1. Uh, the struggles continue, but that happens when you're not able to locate your secondary pitches, you become a one-pitch pitcher. He needs to start to get those secondary pitches over really fast. And that misses for ball four. So here's the Dodgers pitcher, Clayton Kershaw. No official at bat for him, but he has scored a run in this one. He's set. Here it comes. Bunt attempt from Kershaw, and it looks to be a good one. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. 
back to the top of the order now. And up next, one of the terrific talents in the game, Mookie Betts. First pitch of the at bat on its way. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Braun is in retreat as he pulls it in for the first out. And he'll move up to third now. Runners at the corners here with one away. At the plate, Max Muncy. He's got runners at the corners here with only one gun. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. Gone. And that one had some extra distance. Another excellent swing right there. That's multiple home runs in the same inning. Watch yourself. You're missing over the heart of the plate. Lucas Sims answers the call from the pen here in the fourth as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for from their starter. Cody Bellinger at the plate now as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. Lifetime versus this pitcher. He's one for three. A little over anxious that time as it's a ball and a strike. According to the career numbers on the back of his baseball card, Bellinger has collected just over 150 home runs in his big league days. Now back, third base, Justin Turner. Into the box, Justin Turner, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Swing and a ball lifted into straightaway center. On the move is Braun. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Stepping up now, Jock Peterson. He came through with an RBI single in his last at bat. First pitch on its way. and one delivery and it's fouled away and prior to the 0 2 will move to first and a dive but he's back lays off that time and it's one and two if I'm in the box, you take a step out right here. Take a deep breath after that high fastball. You've got to be leery. And a backhanded reach at first, but he can't flag it down. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Here's Corey Seager. Fouled off. A hit in two tries for him so far. And a little self-preservation down at first as he pulls that one in to end the inning. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. First pitch on its way. Swing and a miss on the slider. Nothing in one. Hey, with this big a lead, you have to just pound the zone and force this team to get aggressive in the box. Count is even one and one to Nicholas Castellanos. The one one home. There's a fastball that misses. Now he breaks out the hook there. Good for strike two. Count remains two and two. Again, he sends it out of play. The two two is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Eugenio Suarez. He drew a walk his first time up. 50th pitch of the game on its way. 
Very rarely does a pitcher like this leave one in a location like that. That's a pitch right there he'd like to have back. He'd love to swing at that one again. A ball and a strike now. One and two now as that one's fouled off. And another foul ball. No runs, just one hit. One error on the ledger for Cincinnati so far. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Hops this one up. Muncie is there for it. Two down. In now for the Reds, Mike Moustakis. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Here's the first pitch to him. And it's belted high and deep into right center. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. Yeah, they dug themselves quite a hole, but they say the first thing you need to do when that happens is to stop digging. Well, with that solo shot, they've stopped digging, but they've got a long way to go before they climb out of this hole completely. Here's Ryan Braun now. So he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Kershaw looks in. Here's the 0-1. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? Action pitch right here, 2-2. Two, two. The last thing you want to do is to fall behind the count, 3-2. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Here now the 2-2. Two, two. Is swung on and missed. He got him. Pick things up where we left off. Will Smith. He'll lead things off as they look to perhaps build on an already sizable lead. And he lays off a pitch here that he probably shouldn't have. 0 and 1. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Castellanos has him played perfectly as he puts it away for round number one. Now better. Striding in. Michael Bush. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First pitch coming, here it is. Oh, that's too high. It's never advantageous to fall behind 2 and 0 as a pitcher, but if you're going to do it, it's far better to do it with a guy down in the bottom of the order. Time for a challenge fastball right here, though. Called strike on the sinker, 2 and 2 now. Line to the right side. But he'll barely have to move out there and right as he hauls this one in for the second out. Into the box now, Clayton Kershaw. He reached on an error and later scored his last time up. First delivery to him on the way. There's a fastball called for a strike on the inside corner. Started the breaking ball far too inside that time. Laid off for ball one. That's a great take right there. Great pitch recognition. Let that one go. Opposite handed. That's coming across the plate. You might think he got a shot to stay inside that one. That misses and we're even at two and two. Ball hit on the ground for Anderson at short. Fielded cleanly on the deep trick at first and that'll end the inning.
set now for the bottom of the fifth. Digging in, Kirk to Sally. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. Fastball here that'll wisely lay off, and it's one and two. Pitch on the way. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. Bellinger is there, and he has it for the first out. So striding in, Derek Dietrich. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. The pitch. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Swing and a miss, and he's in trouble now, 0-2. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. And a fastball, swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Freddie Galvis will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Ready. And that's taken for strike one. Oh and one. And it's quickly 0 and 2. Hey, this guy's got to be pretty proud of what he's done so far. It's never easy to pitch on the road. But to have this kind of outing in a ballpark. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Rysel Iglesias gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. All set for the start of the inning, so the batting order turns over now and set to go. Mookie Betts, he's hitless in three at bats to this point. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's 1 and 0. Breaking ball called just a bit low. When you're down six on the mound, you got to at least throw strikes here. 2 and 1 now to Mookie. He's fallen behind now, 3 and 1. Well, it's a pretty well known fact that your batting average goes up as you get into more favorable hitters counts and that's especially true when we're talking about this kind of hitter not a great spot to be in if you're the pitcher tough pitch to lay off but he did and it's ball four so the leadoff hitters aboard to start the sixth stepping up to the plate Max Muncy he had that big three run homer in his last appearance and this pitch just about saws him off as he can't get extended at all it's strike one Fastball just inside. The 1 1 home. Boy, not exactly what you'd like as a pitcher. One of the keys is to minimize your pitches, attack the strike zone early, a lot of deep counts, and working himself into a lot of trouble. 3 and 1 to him now. And the count will be full. Ready to deliver the full count pitch. On the ground to second base. This could be two. One there to Dietrich, and that completes the double play. Stepping in, Cody Bellinger. He singled his last time up. First pitch of the at bat. Nope. Ball one as he lays off below the zone. There's a swing and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. But that'll stay in the park as it's off the wall. And he is in the second with a two out double. Now that third base. Justin. 
Standing in now, Justin Turner. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. High in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. And here's a pitch inside, and that got him. Ready for another shot now. Jock Peterson is looking for hit number three here in this at bat. First pitch coming, here it is. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Hey, this dude's clearly capable of clearing the bases with one swing. So I think the approach to this guy is trying to keep the ball off the plate. See if they can get him to chase something. Anderson is there, and the side is retired. Back to the top of the Reds lineup now and stepping in, Tim Anderson. And he'll lead things off in the Cincinnati sixth. On its way is pitch number 75. And it's one and one. Weak rounder back to the mound. And that's out number one. So striding forward now, Philip Irvin. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Here's the first pitch to him. One run, two hits, one error on the ledger for Cincinnati so far. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Regardless of the result right here, to be down 0-2 and work it back to an even count, got to feel like it's a win for the offense. Into the box now, Nicholas Castellanos. Fought off at the plate as it's chopped foul. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. That nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. Hot shot on the ground is short, and that finds its way through for a base hit. The third base hit, number seven. In now, Eugenio, Eugenio Suarez, and he fouls oh, this one off. He got under one and popped out his last time up. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Swaying and a miss, and he's in control. 0 and 2. The Reds have been searching for that big hit all game long. Let's hope they can get it. They're starting to run out of time. It's about time for something to happen. So he chased out of the strike zone on that one. Eugenio Suarez goes down for the second out here in the bottom half. He's set and the pitch. Mike Mustakis is in with two away as he takes a ball 1 0. Kershaw comes set. Here it comes. Line toward the alley in left center. And this is going to wind up as extra bases as that'll play one for sure and maybe a second. And a relay to the plate. And he's out on the tag. But one run does come in to score on the play before the inning comes to an end. Amir Garrett is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 50. Corey Seeger as he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. 
Garrett is a guy known for his lights out stuff. He tends to rack up strikeout numbers at a very high rate. However, he does at times get wild. Walks have come back to bite him on more than one occasion. You know, it's not uncommon, Matty B, for a relief pitcher to come in with really good stuff. And it seems like he's either really hit and miss. He'll rack up a lot of strikeouts, but if he's not quite on, he'll also rack up a lot of base on balls. And that can cause a pitching coach and a manager to really start to pull their hair out. Uh, he likely had ball four that time, but couldn't hold back on the swing. So that moves the count to three and two now. A swing and this one is blasted to right field. Nothing's going to stop it. Way up into the moon deck and out of here. Well, as a team, they've gone yard four times, and this guy's accounted for half of them. Memo to all pitchers the rest of the game if this guy comes to the plate, you might want to pitch around him. Now, Will Smith, as he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half, it's 0 and 1. And look out as that one ran in and got him. Now at the plate, Michael Bush. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Michael Bush. First offering on its way. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. Oh, pretty healthy hack that time. It's one and one. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. And here's a pitch swung on and missed. One and two now. Fouled away. Lifted down the line and left. Left fielder coming on. He can't get there as it falls in. Chris Taylor will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number three. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1 and 0. Oh, and he misses it. To second for one, and he is in there. Now back to the top of the Dodgers order, digging in Mookie Betts, and their runners at the corners now. From the stretch. Loud contact by Mookie and a ball carrying well the left field. Gone! Well, this is something you don't see every day. It had the distance the second it left the bat. But it was anybody's guess whether it was going to be fair or foul. That is, until it clanked off the top of the foul pole. No question or controversy now. That's an impressive homer. Robert Stevenson comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. Next up is Max Muncy. As he will swing and miss on a fastball on the outer half, it's strike one. Three for four so far, and seeing it well in this ball game. And that misses downstairs for a ball one and one. Now here's the pitch. Strike two swinging just out in front of the slider. Stevenson, a right hander standing six foot three. He was a first round pick back in 2011. Yeah, he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on the superstar level, but you know what? They didn't miss with this pick either. You go into high rounds and you carve out a career the way this guy has, nice pick. Hard hit ball towards the hole. In time to first, and there are two away. Stepping in, Cody Bellinger. It's been a two for four effort for him so far in the ballgame. Now here's the pitch. The bouncer up the middle. He's got it. On to first, and it's in time as they're finally able to retire him.
Dustin May gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Number 85. Now batting, Ryan Braun. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Ready now for Casale. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. And there's a line drive. Base hit to left field. Now back. The first baseman. Derek Dietrich. Stepping in now. Derek Dietrich. In the dirt here. And no advance. It's ball one. The 1 0 home is swung on and missed. Strike one. Runners on first with one down. And he lays off for a ball. Two and one. Good time to call the change as he swings and misses for strike two. Here now the 2-2. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. 3-2 count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. Now the payoff pitch home. Drives it to deep right field. Back goes Betts to the track, to the wall. And this one is gone, a home run. Well, some people would say this homer is wasted because they're down so big tonight, but I'm not one of them. I think anything you can build on and take into the next game is valuable, and at least they're still battling. Jesse Winker will get a shot here as a pinch hitter. He could for the ball. Number 33. And that's in there for a strike. Still only one out in the inning. That's in there. And he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. I get it. He wants to see this guy's repertoire, but now he's behind in the count. Puts himself in a tough spot to hit. The 0-2 once more. One ball, two strikes. Now a swing and a ball popped in the air back behind short. Turner ranges back and he has it for route number two. And that'll bring up the shortstop, Tim Anderson. He's working on a one for three thus far. Drops in a strike to start the at bat. Nothing and one. Lifted down the line and left. On the move is Peterson. But this will land untouched. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. And he'll try and tempt him with one of the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Well, that's a smart miss there. Sometimes guys will chase it down there, especially when they're in protect mode on an 0-2 count. Bush will put this one away, and the side is retired. Enters now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. Ready to begin the eighth. So here's the cleanup hitter, Justin Turner. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. First pitch coming. Here it is. Laid off, but a cold strike as that caught the outside. Good breaking ball there. Laid off for the second strike. On its way, the 0-2 pitch. This is skied into the air to straightaway center. And this is taken out there by Braun for the first out. Standing in, Jock Peterson. On the night, he's two for four with a pair of singles. Not where you want the changeup, but he gets away with it for a strike. Count is even at one and one to Peterson. Oh. 
And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. Back goes Braun to the track. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Digging in, Corey Seager. Two hits in four attempts to this point. This guy's having a pretty good week so far in one game. His last at bat is second home run of the game. We'll see if they'll pitch him a little bit more carefully in this A.B. Drilled right back up the middle. Anderson brings it in. And he'll make that play look easy as the throw is in time to end the inning. Stepping into the box, Philip Irvin. He'll try and do what he can to work toward cutting into this big deficit. Drops in a strike to start the at-bat. Nothing in one. Probably a design take right there. They need base runners, so they're going to make them try. Swung on and hit pretty well out to deep left field. Gone! At the plate now, Nicholas Castellanos. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. As we near the end of this one, I think it's safe to say that the story of the game has undoubtedly been the long ball. Guys, what do you think about what we've witnessed? Well, as a former offensive player, I absolutely love it. Kudos to both lineups for doing absolute damage today. One of the most fun watches of the year. You know, Gabriel, what this shows me is this new age way of guys going up there and they're swinging hard. You need to make good pitches, quality pitches. And if you don't have command of the fastball, you're in for a long day. And we saw that here this afternoon, a ball flying out at near record pace. Eugenio Suarez comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. Chased a low ball there and he's quickly down in the count 0 and 2. Fly ball out to straightaway right. And that'll get down for a base hit. He's through first and hustling for second. And he had two on his mind and that's what he'll get as he's in at second base with a one out double. Tony Gonsolo answers the call now, looking to get this one onto the ninth inning without any trouble. At the plate, Mike Mustakis. Yes, he'll watch one miss down and in for a ball, 1 and 0. Ball two. In the dirt, it's 3 and 0 now. Taking all the way, and it's three and one now. Hitters count all the way, and here it comes. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Got him. Coming to the plate now, Ryan Braun. We could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Here comes the first pitch. Nope. Two out here and a runner at second. And a breaking ball falls in there for a strike. It's 1 and 1. I know to the fans that probably looked like something good to hit. But unless you're sitting breaking ball right there, I don't care if it's middle of the plate. That's a tough pitch to pull the trigger on. And this one gets away. And he's going to make it up to third here as he advances on the wild pitch. Three and one. Two outs here with a runner at third. Too high, ball four. And they're at the corners now with two away. 
So now coming to the plate, Kirk to Sally. He reached on a single last time and later wound up scoring. Hoping to limit the damage, here's the pitch. One oh count, here it is. That's the exact spot to lean on as a reliever. As a hitter, you just have to tip your cap and look for the next one. And it's fouled away. The one two swung on in the dirt strike three Smith goes to get it go to first and that gets him out of the jam. Digging in to try it again Will Smith and if you remember I'm sure he does he hit a round tripper back in the fourth. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hey. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. This one's down to third. Scooped up. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Michael Bush. He's working on a one for three thus far. Ground ball right side. Throw on to first takes care of him, and the top of the ninth is proving unfruitful thus far. Two quick outs here. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Tony Gonsolin. He'll get to take his first cuts here. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. Fouled off. Here's the 0 and 2. Now that's popped up. Casale over to his left. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Digging in and looking for more, Derek Dietrich. And he's coming off a two-run homer his last time around. Goes to show you how strong this guy is. That wasn't a bad breaking ball that he hit for a home run in that last at bat. That ball was down in a way. He went out and hooked it and pulled it. This guy's definitely a good hitter. And he fouls this one off. One one. He pulls this one high and deep to right center field. And it's gone. Tucker Barnhart will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. And he'll look at a fastball that doesn't miss by a whole lot. It's one and oh. One and one to Tucker Barnhart. No outs, nobody on. And to lay off a fastball up in the zone here, and that brings it to two and one now. And a split fingered pitch catches the zone two and two now. That pitch looked like it could have been a little high, but he's been calling that pitch all night. Kind of rough for a pinch hitter, but I'm sure his teammates let him know that's where the zone has been. Throw on to first is in time to get him, so that'll go down as a strikeout and a two to three put out for out number one. Anderson. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Line towards center field. And that's a base hit. He's now two for five in this one. <laughs> Standing in now, Philip Irvin. As he'll take a look at ball one. Now it's two and oh. Well, you have to have a lot of confidence and composure to pitch effectively, and right now, I'm just not seeing it. He looks kind of rattled out there to me. The 2-1 home. Runner at first here, one man out. Popped him up. 
Muncie has a play. And that's the second out of the inning. Standing in, Nicholas Castellanos. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. And that misses ball one. And here's a fastball inside as the count moves to 2 0 now. Now, this is the kind of count this guy feeds on at the plate. You can bet he's geared to hit the fastball right here. Fouled away. The Reds down to their last strike. Hit hard on the ground to second. Throw on to first is going to be in time for the final out, and the Dodgers are going to take a commanding three games to one lead here in the series as this ball game is over. Hey, it's hard to win games at any point, but to win games on the road, especially in this ballpark, so they are very happy with this win. There's no better time of year to come up big for your team than in the postseason, and that's exactly what this man did. He's our tops player of the game. Yeah, no time like the postseason to come through and lift your team to victory. He was certainly a big factor here, and it was pretty cool to see. 11 to 6, the final score in this ball game. The Dodgers have taken a 3 to 1 lead in this league championship series. Clayton Kershaw is credited with the win. Anthony DiSclefani struggled and gets the loss after giving up six earned. So that's a wrap for us here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak and Heidi Watney on the field, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB Here Network. Have a good night, everybody. Tonight. First for the victorious Dodgers, 11 runs, 13 hits, no errors. They left seven and on base.